So this is a twisty worm, or a squirmel, or whatever your package said. We're gonna take a quick look at how to make this work. At the end of the video, we'll talk about making your own. The three components you need is a worm, a string, and an anchor. It comes with a little cardboard anchor that you unwrap the string from. This might be hard to see, so we're gonna use this one. The first thing you should do is get rid of the cardboard and tie the string to a different kind of anchor because this end of the string has to be kept in one place. Clip this to your belt or your pocket. Now, the string goes from your belt line to the worm and we dangle that over your hand. The trick is not to pull the worm. You're actually moving your hand under the worm. That's what the anchor's for. Because of this setup, you can move your hand away from your body and it looks like the worm is crawling. If you keep catching the worm as it falls, and just move your hands under the worm, it's gonna look like he's crawling from hand to hand. As you switch from hand to hand, play with the way the string hangs over your hand. The next step is to get your fingers involved. As the worm comes over my hand, my thumb is gonna grab the string right there. Now my pinky is gonna grab the string. And then my thumb, my pinky, my thumb, my pinky, my thumb. Do that with both hands and change the fingers that grab the string. As the worm crawls around your hand, manipulate your fingers so the string goes around all of them. Then, it looks like the worm crawls through all your fingers. You can even add extra props. As the worm crawls around that hand, wrap the string around the marker. With the right kind of string, it can be almost invisible as long as you keep the worm moving. You can make your own twisty worm with a piece of ribbon or a piece of rope, a strip of fabric or a thick shoelace, all kinds of things. Once you have it, attach a string and put the string on an anchor. Once you have it, attach it to a piece of string, thread, or fishing line. Attach that to a piece of string, thread, or fishing line. And attach the other end of the string to some kind of anchor. If you want, give the ribbon eyes, a tail, whatever. Then make it come to life the exact same way. 